So Futureman 2052 uh, exhibition is, um, in few words, a story about uh, empathy, responsibility, concern, and I would even say uh, mindfulness. And uh, the exposition presents collection of statements and objects made by young designers whose concern about the situation is sincere and true. Uh, and as a result, we can face diversified uh, presentation of posters, textiles, everyday objects, sculptures, and the mural in the city center that will be created with the viewers. And to start with, uh, we'll go to uh, posters by Pola Piestrzeniewicz and Witek Gretzinger. They are graphic designers with devotion to social, climate and generally consumption issues. And their intention is to spread awareness about consequences of human activity uh, by representing these relations in a visual communication language. And just behind the wall, we can see the space of Zuza Wojcik um, and her bioplastic samples. Zuza works on this project consequently doing her research on the potential of new materials like algae and seaweed as a substitute for plastic, we all know is extremely harmful to the environment. Her approach is cradle to cradle, so she is concerned about every stage of the production process and what happens after the product is used. Is it biodegradable, uh, etc., or will it uh, become a waste? But even if uh, something becomes a waste, she has an idea to, uh, to use it. And on the other side, of the space, uh, we can see textile samples created in G Green Yarns Lab, founded by Dominika Gatska and Julia Piekarska. They represent similar approach, which is based on responsibility on every stage of production. What they want to do by their 3D textiles is to stimulate the sense of touch uh, of a user since it is diagnosed that most of us are understimulated in this aspect. When we go inside the Cobra Gallery, uh, we are confronted with Blue Meadow. It's woven on jacquard loom and materialized in a form of long picnic blanket. But what is most important here is the question why this meadow is blue? And the answer is because bees love blue. And we are here to talk about bees and other pollinators endangered by extinction. And when they extinct, we are sentenced to death too, so let's go deeper in this topic and find out how we can take care about pollinators. And this huge object is contrasted with small ones that you will see in a moment. This is the collection of vessels by Patricia Gorzella and they are created to contain oils and their shapes are supposed to inform about the content. So the product concentrates on evoking positive emotions. The other designer, Magda Szatkowska, creates sculptures and jewelry objects based on recording and materializing the trace of human activity. 
our motion, especially activity to gain health. Then at the left you can see uh, the huge jacquard uh, textile, very, very colorful, and the sun, sun beds around the exhibition space. And they are produced to present the patterns by Anna Grabowska, and the patterns tell, uh, tell a story of vision, of human vision, but also animal visions. And consequently the color versions are devoted to different waves ways of seeing. The designs are supported by movies in which the authors tell you more about their working process and design itself and you can uh, watch them uh, at uh, YouTube channel Future Man 2052. So I encourage, encourage you to do so to have the full vision of the projects. And at the right you can see the set of uh, handmade objects by Alexandra Bonikowska. She's a lover of Indian culture and folk, and in her project she mixes aesthetics to connect cultures. In her life she opposes racism and she understands it well how hard it is to live and work in another country and how easily it may lead to petrifying social inequalities. And to talk about these most important I issues, we need a space that will help to discuss and uh, find solution. And we also have um, some ideas of a group of students to, to prepare the space for discussion. And now we can go to the poster, which is uh, just here to mention that uh, next weekend we will uh, have an event. It will be uh, a mural painting together with Zuza Milewska, whose project we uh, can see. And uh, people are invited to participate in it and to contribute and to talk about uh, the idea behind it, which is the concern about uh, animals, uh, which we do not uh, own, but we owe them respect. And the last but not least uh, is Kasper Witkowski and his dystopian scenarios presented in comic strip convention. Uh, it may be straightforward stigmatization of our harmful activities. He evokes Orwell when talking about inspirations. We are pests and it is high time to do something about it. You do not need a superhero cape. Just get to action and uh, take a stand for your future and the future of next generations. Thank you very much.